All right, what's going on? We came down on lunch break from work and uh, see if I can check some crawfish traps real quick. I forgot about them yesterday. Smooth, left them out here. So they've been out over 24 hours now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know they can get out once they run out of bait, they start looking for a way out. So I don't know, maybe we'll still have some in there. I got, a, I got two out, I had some cat food in there. So uh, that seemed to work. I called about, I don't know, two dozen out of this spot in a couple hours the other day. So this is just a, a runoff from the river that flooded off the side of the county road down by the farm. Uh, let's see here. Not much, just some muddy water. But uh, yeah, let's pull them up, see what we got. All right. There's a minnow trap. Uh, one crawfish and some, some kind of little minnows in there, some kind of creek fish. I'm not sure what that bigger one is. Not too bad though, we'll, we'll get them put in the live well so we can keep them. Let's see what, I think this one's the actual crawfish trap. Maybe we'll have some bugs in it. I don't know. Yeah, there's a few in there. No snake. There you go. Quite a few in there. Not as many as the other day, but like I said, it's been out a long time, so a lot of them could have got out. But there's some big ones in there. Let's see if we get the bucket and we'll get them out. This is the first one. Some bad little crawfish there keep him but i didn't show y'all the other day i came and this is my first run got some ham in there i was trying to get him to eat see there's quite a few in there already catching them getting a little better but uh yeah let's see here let's dump these fish out it's like a little sunfish maybe of some kind Throw him in there. Try to hurry up and get him over to this. Not even gonna lie. I guess it's. I'm not sure what that is. Since I don't know what it is, I'm not gonna put it in my lake. I'm gonna throw him back down there in the mud. I don't know what he was. I don't necessarily want it swimming around in my lake if I don't know exactly what it is. There you go. See, this one did a little better. Let's see. A little brown guy. Throw him in the bucket. All right, so that's what I use for bait. Just some cat food, Dave. Ate it out of there, but some pretty good sized crawfish there. Get them out. There you go. Pretty good sized bug. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, since we know it that's in there, and it's all crawfish, we're going to want them all. There we go. Guess that's it there. Get the traps loaded up. Now we probably got about I don't know, maybe, maybe two dozen or so. Good mix of crawfish there. But uh yeah. Let's go get them put in the bass lake. I keep some for bait and the rest will put in the lake for the food trying to grow some of those bass and get the numbers down and get the population right y'all stick with us we made it to the lake oh if we can get that out of there Whew. bait bucket's kind of heavy all right we're gonna get over here and turn these things loose there's some bait fish in the water there i hadn't been seeing many bait fish or many crawfish anything like that for these bass to eat it's gotten a bit overpopulated with the bass for catching a bunch of them little 10 inches or skinny so we're trying to do a little population control along with um, 
getting some bait in here. We got a turtle problem, as you've seen in some other videos. We're getting that under control. You can see it, but a little baby turtle. Just swam up right there. I saw a few minnows in the water when I got up. What I got going on here is I've been catching these crawfish. I guess this is several, several dozen, probably 50, 60 at least I put in there now. That little sunfish, those crawfish done killed him already, but uh, my little bucket there has got the holes drilled in it. Say so you're not supposed to transplant water from one body of water to another. So that's kind of what I've been doing is, see if he'll live. Yeah, he dead as a hammer. But um, so yeah, then I can just pour this water out and not use it. Uh, I got my crawfish in there. You can see it's quite a few of them. We'll, uh, we'll take them over here. There's a few little minnows in there. Take them in here and wash them off so you can see them pretty good. Kind of get them in the sun. I think I'm, I'm blocking the sun now, there you go. But yeah, I gotta get back to work with us. Get over here in some clear water and we'll turn them loose. There is some minnows there, but not much. Oh, stepped in the mud. But yeah, let's see if we can watch these, try not to disturb the water too much. Watch them for a minute, see if they swim off. Oh yeah. That's just some turkey sandwich meat I put in there for them to eat, try to give them something, but uh, well, there they go. They seem to be slowly dispersing. That's a big one right there. That one's, oh, here goes that one making its way out. I may not know they're all the way free yet. Let's see if we can Get them going. Guess they'll eventually figure it out. They've been in that bucket for a few days, so they that one burrowed on in the grass right there. Yeah, but I think they'll be okay. That's probably four dozen that I've put in so far, which I know is not a lot, but eventually they'll build up and we'll have a decent little crawfish population for the bass to eat. Oh, that one got, got on the wind that time. Maybe it'll go. I think they'll be fine. They, they ain't quite hard to acclimate like fish are. There's a big crawfish, natural crawfish nest there. So there's probably some around. We just gotta get the water right and get the fish population under control and make sure the food's right. And maybe we'll catch some big trophy fish out of here. We used to catch some big ones, but actually the biggest to come out of this lake is uh, 10 and a half pounds, my buddy caught it, and he's got it mounted on the wall, so. If we can get some more like that, we'll be doing something. See old buddy there crawling off. A few more. Looks like good bass food anyway. Big fellow there. Yeah, so maybe that'll give them some stuff to eat on. Appreciate y'all watching.